Eric Mwade for the week of April 14th, 2014. Let's take a look at pre-market here with about half an hour to go before the market open. You see the Dow called up 94 points. S&P 500 is called up about 12 points. And the Nasdaq as of right now is called up to open about 25 points. Overnight in Asia, we had pretty much a slightly mixed session. The biggest mover was Australia here with about 1.2%. 28%. As of right now, we are looking at Europe, which is trading pretty much slightly positive. And if we take a look at commodities, we are looking at crude oil unchanged. Natural gas is down the most. Gold is up slightly. Silver is down slightly. So let's take a look at some of the things we need to watch for for this week. And we begin by taking a look at the NASDAQ. And the one thing that I talked about is watch this line here on the weekly RSI right there this can turn into a support level anything bouncing off that line is I would say decent support also watch what happens should the Nasdaq move above 50 this week if that happens so we need to watch for support here or failure on this line of defense as far as the Nasdaq is concerned you can also draw it something like that which has been an area of support going back to 2011. You can see 2012, some of those support there. There's been support on this general line. So here is where you'd expect some support. As far as the Dow is concerned, for this week, we need to watch and see whether the line on the lows on the weekly RSI can be defended. You can see we ended the week precisely on the line there. And so also watch what happens should we turn negative this week. Watch this level because anything below 50 is going to open the floodgates for a big down week. Bouncing off this line is going to be a healthy bounce. All right. So as long as it's holding above that line, I would say the Dow is okay. Similar, if you take a look at the S&P 500 on the weekly RSI lows line right there, just draw it like that and you can see we close precisely around that level, which is an area of support. Watch the 50. If the market can bounce like it's doing this early in the week here, if it can hold and bounce for the week and look like that, that's going to be where you want to buy some stocks, hoping for a bounce. On the other hand, should we crack below that line and trade below 50, that's really going to open the floodgates because A, we're going to be breaking this multi-year trend line on the weekly support line here on the RSI and so that would not be good so bouncing off that line is positive cracking below that line and cracking below 50 is gonna be confirmation of a market starting to look like the beginning of a serious bear market enjoy the week Eric Mwade good luck peace and blessings